I'm making a uh, making a black lager in the background, but uh, I'm also piecing together a video that I uh, that I did a few weeks ago. I made some unbelievable conch fritters. My buddy Herm posted some pictures online of some conch fritters that he made in Ohio with some canned conch. And I figured if he could make these conch fritters with canned conch that look so darn good, then I could make them even better with fresh stuff. So check it out. Hey, Herm's got a good little story that he's going to tell about how he got this wonderful conch fritter recipe. From me, you're going to love it. It's from Thieves in old uh, Naples, Florida. It's gone, they tore it down and turned it into condos, but it was like the last great uh, uh, restaurant and pub on the waterfront down there. It had an awesome uh, conch fritters. That's the first ones I ever had and the best I've ever had. So. All right, so we got our conch. Uh, we took each piece and we quartered it, and uh, then we took all those pieces, threw them in a in a uh, food processor and pulsed it a bunch of times. You don't want to just let it run until they uh, turn into, I don't know, you know, turn real fine. You, you still want some, want some chunks. And uh, after that, then dice up a half a white onion, dice up a half a red bell pepper, two stalks of celery, and um, make sure they're uniform sizes. Okay, so here's how we made it. We made this batter, and the batter is not going to be, you know, when I was thinking originally, I was thinking, oh, it's going to be kind of like hush puppy batter, but it's not. It's going to be a lot runnier. So we're going to make it out of three-quarter cups of uh, all-purpose flour. We'll take one egg, half a cup of milk, ground cayenne pepper to taste, salt and pepper to taste, a cup of chopped fresh conch, and we already explained how to do that. Uh, half a white onion chopped, half a red bell pepper chopped, two stalks of celery chopped, and two cloves of garlic chopped. You end up with about 15 conch fritters out of this recipe. If that's all you need, then great. If not, double it, triple it, whatever you want. You can eat conch all weekend long if you if if need be. Get like a one tablespoon scooper and scoop out some of that batter, throw it in your fry daddy or your fryer at, at 365 and uh, wait until they get golden brown and pull them out and throw them on a plate on top of some, uh, some uh, paper and uh, some paper towels that way they can dry out and then they'll be ready to serve. Put your sauce on the side, your dipping sauce, and uh, and you're good to hook. Yeah, Herm says once you get them cooked up, grab a cold beer and pretend you're on a beach somewhere warm. Hey, beer drinkers, thanks for joining us. I'll tell you what we've uh, we've had a bunch of new subscribers lately, and thanks for joining and sharing us with your friends. But once we hit 350, I'm gonna randomly pick one of those subscribers on the air and give them a brand new Beer Drinkers t-shirt. We've got a cool new logo. I'm sure everybody will love it. So, And also, if there are any of our subscribers that speak a foreign language and wanna translate our videos, just click on this link up above and help us out. Spread our message. Share us with your friends. So remember, until next time, drink beer. Mostly craft beer, but not too much. All right, cheers.